Hello students, welcome to our channel, Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today, in this video, we will verify midpoint theorem through an art integrated activity. But before starting with this activity, let me tell you that we have many more maths art integrated activities on our channel, Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all such activities on our website as well. The link is available below in the description box. Aim of this art integrated project is to verify the midpoint theorem. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Learning Notebook For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors and a box of crayons. So let's first understand what is midpoint theorem. The midpoint theorem says, the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is also half of length of the third side. To understand this theorem, let's take a triangle ABC, where D and E are the midpoints of two sides AB and AC respectively. So, according to this midpoint theorem, line segment DE is parallel to third side of triangle BC and DE is also equals to half of BC. Now, let's verify this midpoint theorem through an activity. In the first step, Take a white sheet of paper and draw a big triangle on it as shown here. Then carefully cut out this triangle using pair of scissors. In the next step, let's measure the length of two sides of the triangle and find their midpoints. Then we will join these midpoints as shown here. Now, let's color both the parts of the triangle with your favorite colors. Now, take a red sheet and cut another red triangle from it such that both the red triangles are congruent. So now we have cut out another red triangle and thus we have got two red triangles with us that are congruent to each other. Next, rotate this triangle and place it along the big triangle as shown here. Now let's take one A3 white sheet and write a heading on it, Midpoint Theorem. Next, paste these triangles on it as shown here. Now, let's name the points as A, B, C, D, E and F. Now, here, since triangle CEF is congruent to triangle AED, therefore, DE equals to EF. Now, students, let's see the midpoint theorem once again. The line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle so, we have already made this part of theorem. 
So we have two parts to prove in this theorem. First part is that this line segment is parallel to the third side. And second part is it is also half of length of the third side. So now let's prove the second part first. Let's first measure BC which is 9 centimeter. Next measure DE which is 4.5 centimeter. Therefore DE is half of BC. Now let's mark these as 1 and 2. Now students from 2 we can write 2 DE equals to BC. Now DE can also be written as EF. So we can write 2 DE as DE plus EF equals to BC. Now look at the triangle. Here DE plus EF equals to DF. So we get DF equals to BC. Let's mark it as 3. Students, we have got a very interesting maths art integrated activity on how to draw a crab using square root spiral. You will find the link to this video below in the description box. Now students, since triangle CEF is congruent to triangle AED, we can say AD equals to FC. Next, D is the midpoint of AB. Therefore, AD equals to BD. Now, let's mark them as 4 and 5. Now, from 4 and 5, we can say FC equals to BD. Mark this as 6. So, from 3 and 6, we get that DFCB is a parallelogram. Therefore, DE is parallel to BC. So, students, this verifies the midpoint theorem through an activity. I hope you have enjoyed this activity and there are a lot of such art integrated activities on our channel Learning Notebook. So do watch them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.